What's up, scholars? Today we are back and we are talking about the water cycle. Yes, I know you've heard about the water cycle, but what is a cycle? What is a cycle? No, not a tricycle. No, a cycle. Well, a cycle is something that goes and continues over and over and over again repeating. It's something that just continues to repeat. A process that just continues to repeat. The sedimentary rock cycle is a cycle. The rocks are going to push up, break off, squash down, reform, and it just keeps going over and over and over and over and over. Life cycles. We go from babies to being adults who have babies who be adults who have babies who be adults. Animals do it. Seeds, plants do it. Everybody has, uh, every organism has a life cycle. That is a cycle. Cycle is anything that just repeats over and over and over. The celestial bodies, our earth has a yearly cycle that we do. We go all the way around. We revolve around the sun. Another word is to orbit around the sun every 365 years. There are these processes, these steps, these things in the earth that just continuously happen. There's a cycle, a really cool cycle that's called the water cycle. And I know you've probably heard the song because it goes, water goes up as evaporation forms a cloud that's condensation, comes back down as precipitation. That's the water cycle. Or you can wrap it. Water goes up as evaporation forms a cloud called condensation, comes back down as precipitation. That's the water cycle. You can do it either way. But that is the water cycle. But what's really happening in the water cycle? Like when we say water is cycling, water is moving, water is changing, what is causing the water cycle to change? I'm so glad that you asked because I really wanted to tell you. I want to tell you right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you. The water cycle is driven by one primary thing. The water cycle is driven by this wonderful star that we have called the sun yes it is the sun's rays that drive the water cycle now we know that water can come in three states of matter and what are those three states of matter come on tell me yes i know you know it is a solid a liquid and a gas and guess what it is that changes water into different states of matter i know you guessed it it's thermal energy yes when water gets kind of medium temperature, it is a liquid. If I drop that temperature below zero degrees Celsius, guess what? It turns to a solid. But if I take that temperature over 100 degrees Celsius, water changes to its gas form that we call water vapor. And the sun is instrumental in doing that for our planet, causing the water cycle. Now let's take a look at this. Any place where water accumulates, that can be off in a lake, that can be off in an ocean, any place where water, a pond, that's called accumulation. Now with this accumulation, the sun's rays are shining on that water and they're heating it up. They're he do that with me, just say it's heating it up. Like I gotta make the face and everything, like the, it's heating it up. Yes, just like that, yes, it is heating it up. And when this water gets hot enough, it begins to change from a liquid to a gas that we call water vapor. And this water vapor, because it's a gas, it begins to rise up. It begins to rise up, rise up, and it keeps going and going and going and going until it gets really high in the atmosphere. And remember the atmosphere, that's another one of our science words. The atmosphere is the thin layer of gases that surrounds the earth. Atmosphere is so important. Remember characteristics of the earth? The atmosphere is one of those things that makes the earth so special and allows it to have all of the diverse life forms that we have. So these water vapor continues to rise up, but when it gets close to the top, the temperature starts to cool down again. And what do we know about water? If the temperature begins to drop, its state is going to change. So we start to get this thing called clouds. We see clouds and this process where water is, we call it condensing, condensing. That is condensation. 
So when the water goes up, whenever it's heated, that's evaporation. And evaporation is a state change from a liquid to a gas. And then it gets really cool because that evaporation goes up and it begins to condense. And that condensation is a state change from a gas to a liquid. And whenever those molecules smash together enough and they begin to gain mass and they get heavy enough, eventually we're going to get over here and we're going to get something called precipitation. And we talked about precipitation earlier because precipitation is one of the things that we measure as far as rain goes. And there's different forms of precipitation. There are rain, there is sleet, there is snow, and there is hail. And the precipitation is going to change depending on what? The temperature. Yes, the sun, the temperature. It's all connected. It's all connected in this cycle. It is all connected. This precipitation is eventually going to come down. We're going to say that it rained. It's normally going to fall somewhere. It's going to run off. And guess what? It goes down back into the bodies of water and the process starts all over again. Why? Because it's a cycle and the earth is full of natural processes, these natural cycles that are so important to the life that we get to have. That's why it is so important for you and me and us and we to take care of our planet. As far as we know, we only get one, so we've got to treat it right. Scholars, you guys are amazing. Y'all are going to make amazing meteorologists one day. You're going to know all about the weather. You could be telling the weather for me. I'm going to be looking on the channel, and I'm going to see one of you guys telling the weather. Today's forecast is going to be partly cloudy with sun rays, and the temperature is going to be 78 degrees. So it's going to be a very Texas-like day. Yes, that's going to be you. You're going to be a meteorologist. You're going to be telling the world about the weather. Scholars, y'all are awesome. Have an absolutely wonderful day, and we will be back on soon with more amazing science.